y'all, it's Annie here from Joe and Annie's Crafts and Toys. Really excited because this is our first video for our winter theme. Today is a collab with Boo from Horse Lover Juju's channel. And so the DIY I'm going to be showing you to make today is this lip balm Hershey Kiss. Um, I'll tell you what Hershey Kiss is in a second if you don't know. And once again, I have paint on my hands, I think. Yeah, no, maybe I don't. And then what Boo has made is some hot chocolate lip balm. And it's really yummy. You can see all that goodness underneath. Okay, you can... His video will be linked down in the description box below. So please go check that out. And do keep your eyes peeled. I believe we're going to be doing some more Joe and Friends and Blondies in the Barn. So please enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy that. So first we're going to get on to what you need. So what you will need... For this lip balm is an empty and clean container. You will also need some brown clay. It doesn't really matter what brand it is. I like baked clay by Sculpey. You will also need some petroleum jelly, and mine is just in a jar. Um, this is also known as Vaseline, and I am today I'm using the kind with the cocoa butter scent or the cocoa butter inside because this tastes better with the chocolate. Or smells better. You will also need some strong glue. Today I'm using these six and you can use hot glue, but lately I've just been burning myself with hot glue. The next thing you will need is some baby oil gel. Mine has shea and cocoa butter in it to enhance that flavor and smell once again. However, you could use coconut oil, olive oil, tea tree oil, whatever kind of oil you want. Or you can use whatever kind of baby oil gel you want. You can find these at most dollar stores and Target and Walmart and other department stores like that. Any place that will sell babies, even probably Babies R Us. Maybe even. I don't think you can find that at Toys R Us. And then next we're going to need our chocolate ingredients. So today you will need either one Hershey Kiss or two little squares of Hershey's looks. Just regular can't chocolate and I really love this stuff. So for, for those of you who don't live in the USA or Canada, Hershey Kisses are a little chocolate specimen out by the same brand Hershey's. Um, if you don't like milk chocolate, which is the sweet chocolate, they also sell not a sweet chocolate. And today I'm not going to actually use a kiss because all I have is almond, but it just it's a little tiny chocolate little squirt that comes in a gold wrapper or it comes in a silver wrapper and a little tag and as you can see our lip balm has sorry i'm just so i want to eat everything has a little bit of a hold on one sec hey guys this is not annie right now i just wanted to apologize my dog she likes to eat chocolate i do not let her eat chocolate but she wants to attack chocolate so i'm sorry if this video is a little bit scratchy okay i'm sorry let's go back to the video again i do not let her eat chocolate but okay and this is annie again and as you can see, ours has a little wrapper and stuff, and you will also need for your wrapper a thin strip of piece of paper, like I said earlier, a thin piece of paper, and something to write on that with, preferably a pen. And then you will need a hot pad or a pot holder, whatever you call these things, just to set. You will also need a microwavably safe bowl for it. Hello, boo. So yeah, let's get on to the video. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is find some tin foil to line whatever pan you're going to be using when you cook your clay. And I'm just going to work on this tin foil, and I'm going to take a pretty decent size of my clay, probably about one inch wide of the thickness. So I actually have a real Hershey Kiss here, and like I said, it's almonds. I'm not going to put it in my lip balm, but I'm going to begin by molding this clay, and I'm sorry about my thumb, it's covered in paint right now. So I'm going to make sure that it's about the same size as my actual chocolate. I think I have enough clay to work with. So after I've kind of bended it and molded it and feel like it is workable, I'm going to begin by rolling it into a ball. Like, like you know, putting it in between my hands and rolling it into a ball. I can't really do this on camera as good as I would want to, but I'm just rolling it into a ball. And the harder you press and the more you work with it, it will become... A perfectly round ball. So now that I have my round ball, well, I'm going to make sure we're still kind of the right size. So then I'm going to begin by pinching a little bit and rolling with my fingers to create a peak-like thing. So after I have 
have a peak that is about as much as my Hershey Kiss. I'm going to want to put my thumbs in that little indention and pull and push it down on the edges to give it that kind of scope. And then I'm just going to take my fingers and work with the clay so that it looks more and more like a Hershey Kiss. And just kind of look at the actual thing to make it look more and more likely, you know. It's not easy, of course, and mine's looking a little bit on the fat side. But just keep molding it. And if you want to get the edges, if they're looking kind of rough, just kind of roll it back and forth in your hand. You know, roll your fingers like this. Do whatever you need to to get it perfect as possible. Yeah, so just keep working with it, and I'll be back after I've worked with it until it is about the same as my Hershey Kiss itself. So I feel like I'm at the best point I can be at. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Make sure you don't put your actual Hershey Kiss into the oven. And let it cook. If you don't own a Hershey Kiss, you can probably Google the image of one. Alright, so I'm going to do that. Bake it according to the package directions. And I'll be, and then I'm going to actually kind of let it bake as we do the rest of this process. So now I have a microwave safe bowl. And I'm going to take my two pieces of Hershey's chocolate or your Hershey Kiss, depending on what you have for this step. And I'm going to break them in half so that I just have two little squares. And then I'm going to break them in half again. And then break them in half again. So that I have four little chunks of Hershey's chocolate. Then I'm going to want to take my baby cocoa butter oil gel. Pop mine open. And I'm going to want to squirt one half of a teaspoon in here. Okay, I'm going to tell you this much, guys. This stuff is kind of running out right now. So it makes an awful sound. So I'm going to do this off camera and be back when I'm done doing this, okay? So after you get yours spilled up, you're going to want to place all of that inside your bowl. Now I'm going to take my cocoa butter scented petroleum jelly and take about one half of a teaspoon of that and put it into your bowl. It's okay if you get things on the sides. When this melts, it will all kind of end up the same. So now I'm just going to put my bowl in the microwave with all my ingredients on it. And I also just have this little thing in case it pops or anything. It won't get all over the microwave. And then you're just going to want to set your microwave to 30 seconds and then shut your door of course and then start it and let that heat up after 30 seconds take a spoon and stir it to kind of stir all your different ingredients up and then mine's still a little bit chunky so I'm gonna do it 20 seconds more After 20 more seconds, this is what it looks like, so I'm just going to stir it and let all that heat melt everything else because heat, heated oils will melt other heatable objects. So I'm just going to pick up my little bowl here, and it's really hot, so you're going to use that hot pad, and, and now I'm just going to stir everything until it is a complete liquid and I see no more lumps. So I'll be back with you and all everything and all the lumps are gone. So now that everything is nice and melty, I'm just going to put it in my container. You could pour this, however mine is really hot and I don't want to get everything everywhere. So I'm just going to pour all of this stuff into my container. Now that my container is full, I'm going to place it into the freezer in a level spot. My freezer doesn't have a level spot right now, so I'm going to make that and then let it freeze. Now we're going to work with our lid. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your piece of paper, your thin piece of paper, and write lip balm on it. So I'm just going to write lip balm on there, L-I-P, and then a dot, and then L-I-P, and then a dot, and do that until your entire little piece of paper is full of lip words. You could put lip balm if you wanted to, but for this specific one, I just put lip. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is take the E6000, the same E6000 I used in my Christmas video, so it's still broken. I'm going to try to apply just a little bit of glue. It's not really working that well. But then you're just going to want to try to get to the middle of your container. Now, if you get to the middle, you're going to want to take your Hershey Kiss. I'm going to go and apologize for mine. It has burnt, so I had to paint over the burnt spots. So, yeah. 
It's a little bit ratchet, but we're still going with it. And then you're going to want to apply a large dot of glue this time, as you can see. I have done that. And then you're going to want to press down your Hershey Kiss so that it looks pretty nice and neat. And then you're going to want to let everything dry. And while it's drying, I just kind of am curling this little lip balm thing and letting it get nice and curled first. So... So as I showed you in the video, this is what your final product should look like. And as you can see, it's a fairly oily lip gloss. I consider it more of a gloss than a balm. And here's what it looks like swatched on my hand. It's like got a very light tint of brown from the chocolate and it tastes like chocolate. It tastes so amazing as I said earlier. So I'm just going to swatch that on my thumb. That's what one coat looks like. You can just keep applying coats if you want. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And please don't forget to share our videos so we can all grow together like pretty little roses. And please don't forget that we always say thank you so much for watching and PTL. Want to collab? Our status is open.